Hello Internet, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. This is Randy from Rans Graphics and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a Liquid Odin logo reveal inside After Effects. You can download the project file on the link in the description below, okay? So you can follow along with me. So without any further ado, I will show you what we are gonna be creating today. As well, let me create a new composition and I will name it logo 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and the duration is 30 seconds long click ok I will open my folder asset expand my folder image I will drop down this RG golden logo which I made it in Photoshop and then I will press my keyboard S to scale it down I'll just scale it down to 50% Go to composition and create a new composition. I will name it liquid logo. Same 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second, and 30 seconds duration. Click OK. I will drop down my logo into my timeline. Press my keyboard Ctrl D to duplicate it. I will rename this below logo to matte. For now, I will disable the visibility on it. So I will highlight this logo. Go to FX and preset. I will add simulation and CC Mr. Mercury. Now it's time for me to enable the visibility of this map to see the logo we have. And then move my playhead to the 2 seconds duration. And I will create a keyframe here by hitting the stop patch on the producer. And then I will move this map above the logo and highlight again this logo here change the position of my anchor point on the top of my logo i think that should be good enough and then move forward my play it to about 10 seconds duration drag my anchor point down till such time that it's flash on my logo so now i will change the track mat here to alpha mat if you can see this track mat toggle switches modes in here okay i'll just change this to alpha mat nice so all we have to do is to change some settings on our velocity i want it 0.2 blob size change this to 2 and then the influence map i'll change this to blob out chart animation jet i have to change this to zero gravity i need to change the longevity to 12 The radius X, I will change this to 70. Blob influence, I will change this to 40. Then I will move my playhead back to 2 seconds or maybe 1 second duration. And then create a keyframe on the birth rate and make this 0. Forward my playhead to about 5 frames. Change this birth rate to 1. Then move forward my play to about 10 seconds and 5 frames. Press U U on my keyboard to see the keyframes. And create a keyframe here just by hitting this diamond icon. And move forward to about 5 frames again. And make this birth rate value 0. I will move my play forward to about 10 seconds and 5 frames. And I will create a keyframe in here by clicking this icon. Move forward to about 5 frames. And make the birth rate value 0. So now I will create another composition and I will name it liquid particle. And I will change the height here from 1080p to 1920. Still the frame rate is 30 and the duration is 30 seconds long. Click OK, zoom it out a bit. Go to layer, create a new solid and I will name it particles. Now 
I want to make composite and the color is white click ok go to effects and preset go to simulation and add CC Mr. Mercury go back to effects and preset noise and grain go to turbulent noise drag this turbulent noise above the CC Mr. Mercury and change some settings in here I'll change the basic to turbulent basic the noise type I'll change it to linear contrast is 250 the brightness 8 complexity 4 click my keyboard alt and hold it to create an expression hit the stopwatch here then type time times 200 then I will go to my project panel and I will drop down again this logo as our reference then press P on my keyboard for the position and drag the logo up above the particles just zoom it in all I have to do is to highlight the particles open my effects control panel I will close this turbulent noise I will move my playhead to 2 seconds duration and then create a keyframe on the producer and I want the anchor point to be at the bottom and then move forward my play to about 6 seconds change the position of our anchor point above like this then change the velocity to 0.2 change the animation here from explosive to twirly the influence map I'll change this to blah blah sharp blah dead size I will change to 0.15 also I will change the gravity here to 0.2 and the blob influence I will change it to 42 then I will move my plate again to 2 seconds duration and make a keyframe on the radius X and I will change this to also the radius Y1 and then move my plate to about 4 seconds change this value here to about 36 then go my play to about 6 seconds duration change this radius x to again back to 1 I will press you on my keyboard to see the keyframes then I will highlight this keyframe press F9 to easy Z then open the graph editor all you have to do is to adjust this one here also the other side move this handle up like this and also this side here so now we will close this one I will move my play it again to one second duration and I will create a keyframe on the first rate I will change the value here to zero then move my play to about 20 frames and then change the value on the birth rate 0.7 go forward my playhead to about 4 seconds change the value on the birth rate probably 3 and then move forward your playhead again to about 6 seconds add up 5 frames and change the value here to 0.7 move your playhead again for 5 frames change this birth rate to 0 press you on your keyboard to see the keyframes and see what happens there you go so now I will close this ones probably I will disable the visibility of this logo and we will colorize these particles okay all I have to do is to go to effects go to video copilot VC color vibrance this is a free plugin from video copilot and then I will click this color I will type the code 665b00 and I will click OK then I will go to effects and preset add color correction curves I'll just darken it a bit like this then go to composition and create a new composition I will name it logo reveal I will just change the header to 1080p still same 30 frames per second and 30 seconds duration click ok and then I will open the 
project panel i will drop down the particle logo and the liquid logo I highlight this particle and press p on my keyboard for the position i will just drag the particles a bit just enough to flash with our logo i think that should be good enough i will right click my mouse go to time and enable time remapping i'll just exchange these keyframes here Then I will create a keyframe on the time remapping. And then I will highlight these two keyframes and I will move it on the two seconds duration or so. We will highlight these two layers, right click my mouse and pre-compose it and I will name it final. Move all the attributes into the new composition and I will click OK. So now I will create a new composition, go to composition, I will name it floor. 1920 by 1080 p 30 frames per second and 30 seconds long click ok i will go to layer and create a solid i will name it floor 1920 by 1080 p and the color is white click ok go to effects and preset go to stylize motion tile i will change the output width to 200 and the output height 200 I will check the mirror edges and I will go back to logo reveal open the project panel I will drop down this floor composition to my timeline and I will enable the 3d layer I like the final I will go to effects and preset go to perspective drop shadow I will change the drop shadow opacity to 100% the distance I will change it to 15 and then the softness I want it five or maybe ten and then i will highlight the floor again and i will go to effects and preset go to generate and add region ramp i will change the ramp shape to region ramp and swap the color open the color here and type three times four zero click ok and i will just increase the end of ramp on the y axis so now i'm gonna go back and double click this final i just want to change the composition settings in here i will change the 1080 to 1920 and i will click ok and i will go back to logo reveal and i will create a new camera i'm using two node 50mm preset camera click ok i'll go to layer and create a null object i will make this null object a 3d layer and parent the camera to the null object move my playhead to about 16 seconds press p on my keyboard for the position and i will create a keyframe and i will drop my logo here just on top of the null object and i will press open bracket key to move that layer move my playhead back to the 12 second duration shift r for the rotation and I will change the values in here 994, negative 421. And 640. Then I'll go to the X rotation. I will change this to 65. 
create a keyframe here on the X rotation and I will go back to the 16 seconds duration and I will make the value here 0 so when we scrub our playhead you can see that this is what we got I will highlight this logo, press T on my keyboard for the opacity, move my playhead at the beginning of the layer and I will change it to zero. Create a keyframe here, move my playhead to about 5 or 10 frames and then I will change this to 100%. Let's try to preview it. nice so now guys our tutorial has been done and don't forget to subscribe like comment and press the notification bell so that if i have a new video uploads you will be notified so my thoughts for today guys is that Think big, trust yourself and make it happen. So thanks guys for watching and see you next time. God bless.